the way I screamed. I audibly hollered when Ty stiff-armed Ella. <sighs> it couldn't be me. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, reviewing Love Island at season 10, episode 20, something like that. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. Church announcements, Sunday, there will not be a video. I'm going to see Beyonce. I cannot, I, I cannot tell you if I'll be able to stand afterwards, okay? Um... I'm gonna say it again tomorrow, just in case, cause I, I probably will forget and y'all are gonna badger me in the DMs. Guys, please, I'm with the queen. All right, thank you. Also, if I turn my head and you see that my hair is not fully done, please save the comments to yourself, okay? I, I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. The episode starts with Catherine confronting Scott. And I'm sorry, even though I'm technically team nobody because I can see it on both ends, I'm like 51% on Scott's side. For you to look at me and be like, oh, it was so easy for you, it wasn't. I never said it was easy for you. You were my number one, though. Even when I was getting to know him, and I you still, were mine, like, I did you think for a second you. you weren't my number one? Well, clearly not. Have you been kissing this lad in Casa? I that, kissed has that been him, happening? yes. Has that, has that I been kissed him, okay. yes, twice. Okay. Big things are how I show my affection. Like, doing you stuff like that. You haven't done anything doing big. Stuff like that. Whitney, does Scott put everyone to that fire pit for me? Scott's downfall for me is bringing up the fire pit conversation because it almost feels like his intentions are wrong, right? Like his intentions for having that conversation was to save face when in fact he was doing it in defense of both him and Catherine, in my opinion, that's what I felt like. And in that moment, after he had that conversation, yeah, she didn't want to have it with the entire villa. She just wanted him to call out the boys. I felt like when everyone was having the conversation, he was unbothered. And so she started crying. And then he was like, oh, well, that's not what we're gonna do. You know what I mean? So then he called it out. Now how it's turned into, you did this for yourself. You did this for yourself. Well, hold on, Catherine, because if memory serves us, and don't worry, I'll jog your memory. Um, you thought he was defending you. But yeah, no, it was nice that he was like standing up for me. Like there was never yeah, was a time that, time that you guys I got, like, like me yeah. against the world. Baby. <laughs> so this is where I'm just like, okay, Catherine, you know, I would rather you just stand firm in the fact that you wanted things to be further along emotionally than they were with Scott before you went to Casa. They were not, you found somebody who has a stronger connection with you and you're gonna stand by that. To me, that would have been perfect. But to be like, you did that for selfish reasons. And I'm like, mm. No, I don't, I don't, that part doesn't really fly well with me. But at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, Scott, if, if, if things were really there for you and her, then, then you should have been putting more pressure. You really should have. And it's, it's kind of weird to say because they're both kind of easygoing people, you know, when he was pursuing both women, she was like, yeah, I don't want you to, you know, make a decision based on me. You go with your heart, you whatever. So I think he came with that same energy as well. Like, I don't want to force you into anything, but now here we are. And now y'all don't want to be together. Damn it, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I support my girl, Catherine. All right. Do you girl. Side note, her asking Whitney for, and Whit listen, Whitney, Whitney knows how to handle herself in mixed company. She said, first of all, compose yourself. This is not the time nor the place. There are 50 million cameras rolling right now. You don't want this to be the narrative. All right. Her asking Whitney for confirmation to me kind of felt like she knows a bit of her is guilty, right? And not guilty in the sense that she found another connection, but in the way in which she kind of disregarded Scott's feelings. That's, that's, that's how I'm interpreting this thing, right? Um, I think that a part of Whitney knows that the feelings that Scott had were real but they just weren't as far along to lock things off coming to cause like that, that that's just the reality you know in as much as some of us want them to be together they were not as serious as they needed to be to not look elsewhere we're gonna have to start calling zachariah stockholm this man has had so many nicknames he went from zachariah to zach to raya to judas back to zachariah and now he's stockholm and the reason why is because i feel like he's gonna have stockholm syndrome he is now going to fall in love with his kidnapper you two like a done deal now i could tell by the fire pit you two holding hands that it looked you know good i definitely do want to see where that could go 
I'm happy for you and Molly, genuinely. Like, I'm sorry, the man looks like he is in bondage. I do not see joy when he even talks about Molly, let alone when he's in the presence of Molly. Like, I, f I, I feel so sad for him. So sad for him. I, I Stockholm, I, I wish you the best. I'm so sorry this is now your reality. So big man, you'll find out who big man is, claims that, you know, he typically doesn't let the impressions of other men force him to do things that he's not comfortable doing. So basically the boys are just in my ear, in my ear, in my ear. I'm a big man, like, I'm not the type of guy to get lured into doing shit that I don't want to do, etc. as you know. It's yeah. your decision, so you just got to take it. You did it. You said, yeah, you did it. This man is a beg. He's a beg. Big man beg. Big man beg. Oh, Leah, this is, this, this is your man. This is your man. Mm-hmm. And she goes stick beside, God of mercy. She does question him a little bit later on. We're going to talk about that, but mm-mm. Montel. Sorry, big man. Mm -mm. While Catherine is trying to plead her case to Zachariah, man, I'm messing up these names. While Catherine is trying to plead her case to Stockholm, and this is how you know, she knows a little bit of her is guilty, okay? Because she's trying to plead a case to everybody. Um, here you have Slime trying to plead his case to Jess. How are you? Not bad, how are you? I'm all right. Just to get to the nitty gritty, first of all, Alma and Gabby, I did kiss them. I've only ever had feelings once in my life and it was like, you being over there, like, just genuinely, like, really, yeah. I know that obviously Amber's not in a very nice position because I obviously know how Sammy deep down feels. He's gonna be onto me probably a little bit more. Jessica, I cannot keep fighting for you. I really cannot keep fighting for you. This woman, is accepting everything that happened in Casa Granta. She doesn't know everything, but she knows enough to know his eyes were wandering. You know what I mean? And his eyes continue to wander while he's with this woman. And she's like, well, um, I know he's going to be on me, so. This reminds me of, you guys know that song by, uh, what's her name now? She's back with Nelly. What's her name, man? I forget the name. This is so bad. But she says, when my man leave the house, I know he's coming right back. I got that good, good. I got that good, good. No matter how much you might try to act, he knows just where he's at. I got that good, good. I got that good, good. I put it on him right. I do it every night. I leave him sitting mouth open like woo. So I don't worry about nobody taking mine because I know just the right thing to do. I got that good, good beggar. That is beggar mentality. You're going to let your man be out there in the streets being whatless, but just because he comes back home every night, you fine with it? God forbid. Tyreek has now cooled off and he's allowing himself to have a conversation with Ella. I've never in a million years thought I would even be wanted, like open to getting to know someone. We did. I've not been open from the from from when I've got here. I've just been you. Know, I've not actually explored anything else. Like you've been my whole time in here, and I've loved that. The fact that you knew Uzi before makes it even worse for me, to be honest. Why? Uh, um, because there's clearly something something there. Like if the, if the shoe was on the other foot and I did this to you, I wouldn't be hearing the end of it. You can have him without me. Have him. Literally have him. That's it. I hate to side with Tyreek. I really do. But at every turn, every corner, uh, he is correct. Like, he is correct. Sweetie, you had a, an arrangement. You went back on the arrangement. What do you want the man to do? Truly, what do you want the man to do? At this point, Ella, stand in your decision. Stand in your decision. Like, I don't know what to tell you, girl. Stand in your freaking decision. Um, what else did I say about her? His intentions. He exposed that his intentions for closing things off was just so that he wouldn't look like a mug after Casa Amor. Now that's not to say that a part of him didn't actually want to be like exclusive. I think that he does really have those feelings that he says he has for Ella, but there's a part of him that just didn't want to look like an idiot. And unfortunately that's what happened. So now he's going to act like even more of a menace because she made him look like, a, like an idiot on TV. Um, but yeah, regardless of his intentions, they had an agreement. And she agreed to the terms of the agree agreement. 
even with his actions prior to, which were despicable, some could argue. But she agreed, and she went back on the agreement. Honey, just like me, my laptop is overheating. Y'all see the sweat? Do y'all hear the fan? It's piping up. Anyways, let me try to go quick. The next morning, Ty says that he's putting on a brave face, even though he knows that he's hurt and everybody knows that he's hurt. The girls encourage er uh, Ella to stand firm in her decision and just move forward. Catherine is still saying that she is justified to... Um, She's justified in exploring things because Scott explored things and she allowed him to do that. Sammy claims that he and Jess have something special. And Leah is concerned about um, Montel's sheep behavior. So Ella says that Ty staying loyal has strengthened her feelings for him. Like that just shows me how much he cares about me as well. And it is fucking terrifying yeah. to think I could actually lose that now. I feel like I'm putting on a front when I shouldn't put on a front because he kissed two girls. Like, that, I have a right to be pissed off now. When is he going to just say, Jess? Literally. When is he going to make the choice? Yeah. But no, there's another girl now in the picture again. OK. Honey, if this is the life that you want to live, honestly, we can't want for somebody what they don't want for themselves. At this point, this is your bed. Lay in it, girl. My friend is so sick. I have to show you guys the message that she sent me. I'm just like, you need help. Um. Yeah, I don't know what's up with her. Jess actually was making me happy this conversation because she's finally realizing, hold on, this man treats me like an option at every opportunity he has. Yes, Jessica. Yes. Ty talks to Uzi and he knows that um, Ella wasn't disrespectful in the way that, he, that she was pursuing Uzi, but it's the fact that his ego is hurt. His pride is hurt. He's just hurt. I feel like the way she went about it was respectful. I hear all of it, yeah. bro, but it's like, I was still standing on my own at the end of the day. Because now, like, you must feel... I don't know how you feel, but how do you feel, bro? I haven't even spoke to her yet. Yeah. No, but man's not a test tube. Like, you can't just fucking... You can't just use my... <laughs> no, I know that. Bro, you can't just use my emotions to now know what you want. Like, what do you think this is? Like... I know Ty is fuming at the fact that not only did you turn your head, you turned your head for somebody you already know, and the nigga got a bobby pinned down dreadlock fringe lock fringe i know he's pissed i know he's pissed i would be pissed too this is my replacement are you serious right now <laughs> i would be vexed but yeah um he he said he's putting on a brave face and honestly he's doing a really good job he even checked on uzi's feelings um i don't know how far genuine that was but you know what guys are really good at like squashing beef so maybe he was being really genuine about that I can't blame anything that, that Ty does at this point, honestly. Like, Ella has given him the green light to move absolutely mad. That's just the reality. Leah is piping up when it comes to Big Mad. And I, I, I cannot lie to you. She was near the bottom of my totem pole, but she she might be raising up the ranks. When when I'm being presented with ideas, yeah, and... and yeah. But again, no, 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 that's back to no, no, the decision. No, no. no two people physically push your heads together. No one did. Like, so you can't blame it on anyone else. That's what's annoyed me. He said he won't do it again, and he knows if he does, then it's the end of it. So time will tell. It's the puppy dog eyes for me. Did you see that, man? It really just could not be me. It could not be me. Personally, Leah, you got to wait around to see if there's some changed behavior, okay? Let this man jump one more time when Tyreek tells him to. You better drop him like a stack of potatoes. The single islanders are sent on a group date. And at first it kind of was like a, oh, let's all mope together. But then it kind of turned into let's fight for Katie's heart. I don't want to feel mugged off being like, oh, it was all fake. I was pressured, you know. Like I had you, we were full focus, we were going in the right direction, and now you want me to step back into a triangle. I'm like, it's not, it's not happening. You two recouple, you need to cut back. No, he can make me his girlfriend. <laughs> Whoa, it's not happening. We spoke once, then you couple it with Zach. So I was like, oh. I was like, I'll allow it, but then like, I'll look at you, then like, we'll catch eye contact sometime. And I'll just think, oh, let me just concentrate because I'm in a couple. I didn't mean like none of this. You hear what you want, you can tell her exactly what you want, I don't care. This is what I'm saying. I'm if, you're on it, if you're with it, I'm with it. Essentially, what we got from this is that Ty is ready to uh, be a mess in this villa. He's going to move mad. Um, he wants to pursue Katie. Scott is it's Scott's next interest would be Katie. But I, th I think right now he's kind of just like, listen, um, just leave me alone. Let me do my own thing. Um, Jess is joking about wanting Sammy to make her his girlfriend. I don't think she's joking. I think that if he did that, it would actually work on her. 
Um, Scott is in his feelings. Um, and Katie needs to return to her man at home. Yeah. 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 Um, Sammy and Amber are having the most awkward conversation. I don't even know if I could call it a conversation, honestly. Where was the banter? Where was the dialogue? It was non-existent. I'm glad we get, get, get to talk more. Huh? Glad we get to talk more when she's not here. You seem a bit more quiet. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, you get nervous. Shy. But was like, shy. <laughs> Again, I ask, what was the reason? Was it so that they could make jokes about this this wise guy? Because every time Amber's on the screen, Ian has to make a joke about this wise guy. So I'm just like, was that the point of bringing her back so that we could talk about this famous footballer? Like, wh wh why is Amber here? I feel like we could have made the jokes even in her absence, truly. I, there could have been a way. Because her presence is just taking up space. Same with Sammy. They could both go. Katie, if you know what it is, has a pattern of playing down Tyreek's interest in her. When she first came, she was like, oh yeah, he was just flirting with his eyes, nothing big. Hmm, I don't know. Now, when he's been laying it on pretty thick, she's like, oh no, he's he's just hurt right now. You know, you guys could work on it. What was Ty saying? I mean, <laughs> that's not bad. I was gonna ask him. <laughs> he was hurt. His ego's hurt, oh. big time. Before Castle More, I close things off with Ella. So it's supposed to be open and I'm gonna be open too, innit? I'm back outside. Time is a healer in here. Um, and I think just give him time. Yeah. Like, just give him time. If I were Katie, I know that it would come across so brutal, but I would tell her every juicy detail. Because Ella, I feel like, needs to have 13 eggs on her face. Forget 12. 13 eggs on her face for her to finally realize, oh, I need to get out of this situation. Because even at the end of this episode, she's begging for this man back. And I'm like, ah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, we, I... Okay, girl, go, go get him back. Go beg for that man back because you're going to do it anyways. She then is talking to, um, I forget who she's talking to. Did I write it down? No. And she's like, I think I'm going to cut things off with Uzi. Why? He's an amazing guy and I'm sure he's not going to struggle with other girls here. He's going to fucking Katie right now. If she, if she did stay loyal, we wouldn't be having this chat right now. Well, of course not. Yeah, so, you know, can you see? I got done dirty. So now that leaves you and me single. Yeah. I rate you now. You say you rate me now. So let me, let's do this. The delusion. The delusion. And I don't need, like... Okay, if you really don't have strong feelings for Uzi anymore, fine. Fine. But I'm like, if there is really a potential there with this man, why are you going to cut that off for a man who's going to treat you like a rag doll? You know he's going to treat you like a rag doll. You're choosing pain over pleasure. I know sometimes pain can be pleasure, but that's not what we're talking about right now. You are choosing pain over pleasure, honey. What? What? Go. Go. Ella, just go. Go. Scott basically summons Catherine. And I was like, uh, hold. Uh, Scott? Now, hold on now. I'm, 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 I'm a bit on your side. Don't, don't do this. But anyways, they have a rehashing of the conversation the night before. And honestly, I'm just like, why couldn't y'all have spoken like this last night? I feel like it didn't have to go like this. Things weren't as perfect. Like, it just wasn't as perfect as obviously maybe you thought it was or maybe I thought it was. I don't want to be that person that says we're so far along or wants to stay just because we've been through a lot together. I want it to because our feelings are there. I'm perfectly and happy for you. Obviously, like, if it was meant to be, it would have been, but, mm. yeah. Catherine obviously has little to no remorse about her actions in Casa Amor. I can't even hate it. I really can't. She seems to be uh, done with Scott. I'm sad about it, but you know what? She's happy with this man, Elam. I, I don't know if he's going to do right by her, but for right now, she likes it, and he hasn't done anything to be super suspicious. So fine. I'm on the boat for now. She then goes and talks to Elam. Yeah, my stomach was turning. We both know we're not going back. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, and I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, from tomorrow, we start building from that. From yeah, tomorrow, build, yeah, build our empire. Yeah, 100%, man. Nobody's gonna take me higher. Good. You're good. I want so badly to be on the boat, and maybe eventually I will, but for right now, I'm gonna need some time. Just like Ty, I'm gonna need some time. I'm going to need some time. Did y'all notice? I'm gonna have to skip some things because. Oh yeah, we're basically at the end. Did y'all notice this man put yet another time limit on Ella? Talking about, you got 12 hours. If you're still talking to him tomorrow, we're done. Are you on some petty shit now? What petty shit? 
like being mm. ties on the revenge thing. How dare you sit me down and ask me what am I doing? Like, are you okay? I'm asking what you're doing. I'm asking, do you want to do pettiness? You've hurt me. You've hurt my pride. You've hurt my ego. I'm hurting. If you're not dead in that, by tomorrow morning, then you don't care about us then, clearly. Listen, the, the, the time thing, I'm just like, okay, I'm, let's be for real. There's really no timeline on healing. It's up to you, right? It's up to your journey and other factors and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, whenever she would be, whenever she would be pissy about him flirting with other women, it would last for a while. It would last for a while. So to expect him the next day to just get over it, you're being unreasonable, Ella. You really are being unreasonable. To add insult to injury, you already know this man. And there's already interest in this man. So even on the outside, maybe he would have been dealing with this regardless. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got to give the man some space. Give the man some time. Give the man some time. We're going to end the episode talking about Whitney. Whitney got herself a little yeah, yeah. I'm here for it. Can you talk to you about something serious? Really? Do it to me. Serious. There's one that's amazing. Hey, do Ka I know her? Catherine, she's great. You know Carla. I thought you were going to say uh, I know you did. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm a, I, I back myself. I feel like I'm a good guy. I know how to treat a girl right. And... Yeah, I do like that you're attentive. You look beautiful, though. <laughs> Thanks. Don't ask me what they talked about. I was not paying attention at all. I just look at them and I'm like, yes, winners. Winners. I love them. I love them together. I really do. Lock in. Is it lock in or lock them? That man seems like a genuine man. He has that whole like soft spoken whatever thing and it's funny to see on the internet people keep saying like no nah, Whitney needs this kind of guy and da, da 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 like who said that Whitney clearly likes a more meek and modest guy that has been her thing going forward even if we look at the other people she was interested in Andre and Montel every man has been meek Andre Montel Medi Locken lead a girl to like what she like this is what she like I root for that Okay, okay. Tomorrow night, what was in the preview? There was a preview, right? I don't know, I forget. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.